Let's see this question. We want to solve this equation. We have a rational part, which means x appears in the denominator, and we have a polynomial part, right? It's a linear one. Mm. So what I want to do is, I want to multiply every term with the least common denominator. So I could get rid of this denominator of x and two. So that means I want to multiply every term by two x because I have the equation, so I can do that. I have equation, I can multiply both sides by the same number, so it won't change anything. The equation still holds. So I multiply this one with the two x. Of course, x divided by x becomes a one. So I'm left with a two times two times one, which is a four. I multiply this term with the two x, two plus all half, I have x times x, x squared. Then it equals 1 times 2x equals 2x. So I don't have denominators anymore, right? I have a quadratic equation, actually. I have x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now I want to write the terms in order, right? Degree 2, degree 1, degree 0. I, moved, I have moved 2x, positive 2x, from the right-hand side to the left. I change it as a sign. Or it's the same to say, minus 2x on both sides. Now, I want to solve this by completing squares. So which means I want to move this 4 to the other side becomes negative. So positive 4 move to the right hand side becomes negative. Now I want to make this one square. So I'm missing positive 1. So I'm going to add a 1 on both sides. So negative 4 plus 1. Well, let me just write one more step. Now I have a perfect square, right? X, x squared minus 2x plus 1, that's x minus 1 squared. First one square, x squared. 2 times x times negative 1, negative 2x. Then negative 1 squared plus 1. So that's a perfect square. Then negative 4 plus 1, that's negative 3. So we don't have real solutions, but we have complex solutions. Remember, i equals the square root of 1, imaginary numbers, or i squared equals negative 1. So that means negative 3 we can be written as a 3i squared, where i squared is negative 1. And when we square root of this, of course, whenever we square root, we get a positive negative 2 values. So we get a positive negative square root 3i. And this i is maybe better right here, because if we write in the back, we don't know if it's under the sign or not under the sign. It could be confusing. So we write the i in front of radical 3. So that means x minus 1, right? We square both sides. We square root both sides. Square root both sides. Then we get x minus 1 equals to positive, negative, i, radical, three. Now let's just move this one to the other side. So x or two values, one plus i radical three and the one minus i radical three. So we have two complex solutions. And the complex solutions always come in pairs because this plus minus sum. All right, so that's for this question.